help me when I'm easy, I'll scared. I don't care if you're alone, if you're a couple, or if you're a small family. This thing is awesome. I'm not sure it was ever really used. It weighs less than 4,100 pounds. You could yank this all over the place with so many vehicles. Uh, stuff smaller than half tons could potentially very comfortably handle this one. My name's Josh the RV Nerd. This is Advantage One RV, and that is a, what is it, 201BHXL XYZ Elemental B. And I mean, when I start seeing stuff like that, like a little, uh, you know, factory propaganda hang tag still hanging on something, that tells me, uh, I'm not sure these folks ever used this camper. And if they did, they only used it a time or two. They sure didn't use it a whole heck of a lot. But what I do see is it's not dirty. They did keep it cleaned and maintained with regularity, which is nice. A lot of times when people don't use a camper, they just abandon it. And then they bring it to us and say, hey, I want you to sell it for top dollar, even though I didn't keep it in top condition. This is... You could go park this on a new RV dealer's lot. You'd never be able to tell the difference. It looks amazing. What's cool about this one, though, it's a simple, very lightweight, uh, no slide little camper. What kind of makes it work, though, is this right here. It actually has a, a cool little Murphy bed setup that gives you, like right now, uh, we, we have the space of a slide out. You know, we've got a sofa and a dinette and a bed. But it does all of that without the weight and the cost of a slide, which is really, really cool. By the way, that is one of the newer generation safety locking Murphy beds. So if you do sit at the headboard area, you're not going to get lawn chaired up into the nose. So I was trying to get this uh, refrigerator to stay open for you, but the camper's not level. The nose is pointing down a little bit and uh, the doors keep closing. What I wanted to show you is how it is the, the larger, newer 12 volt DC compressor fridge. Only a couple months before this physical camper was, uh, this physical camper? No, this metaphysical, what? This RV was physically constructed is what I was trying to say. It was actually still using a six cubic foot gas electric fridge. What you're looking at there is a 10.7 cubic foot uh, active compressor fridge that's uh, 12 volt powered. That is a larger capacity. It's faster cooling. Uh, it's completely travel safe. There's so many good benefits that go along with it. I'm, I'm a big fan of those things. And I love that shelf in that overhead cabinet. I want to be, uh, I always try to be as clear as I can and, and even talk about things sometimes you can't see. Like, it, you can see that it's carpetless, it's ventless flooring, it's nice and easy cleaning. That stuff is awesome. I, I love seeing all that. Uh, the dinette over here, as you would imagine, there is storage below it. And actually, that's kind of a cool thing they did. If you notice, there's these little totes that slide out to make that easy. That could fold down into a sleeper, too. Um, what you can't see easily from camera, something I stumbled into. Like, I came over here and I thought, oh, wow, how smart is it that there's a little door stopper there so the refrigerator door doesn't get dinged up? And then I realized, if you really push that door open hard, you can still make it make contact with that refrigerator door. Bummer that it happened. The other thing I noticed when I was trying to get everything open, um, I said that they clean the RV regularly. Uh, I, I'm guessing maybe just overlook the freezer, maybe out of sight, out of mind. That just needs, you know, wiped out real quick. That's the worst I can find on this trailer. The freezer needs wiped out. Big deal. Um, <laughs> the two single bunks over here. This is kind of nice because they're not really bossy in the floor plan they don't eat up a ton of space you know so if you need to uh uh sleep in there you can you need to just use it for storage eh, you can do that too the bathroom in here is what i call just the facts ma'am and i did notice something uh i uh, a little bit out of the ordinary i looked over here and i'm like huh what's that little bracket and why is this wall looking so bare and i realized there probably used to be a mirror there whether it was taken down or it fell down, I don't know. All I know is that it's not there now, but something to remember, this is a stick and tin trailer. So every 16 inches on center roughly in the wall, there's a stud. There's all kinds of structure in this wall if you wanna start mounting uh, some things. Now, don't go crazy putting a solid oak cabinet on the wall, just be reasonable about this, of course. So for those of you who maybe weren't aware, Salem and Wildwood are quite literally the exact same trailer. They're made by the same people in the same plants with the same material, same floor plan, same model numbers. Um, 
The uh, uh, difference here is really only the exterior look. They have a different name, and then they have a different color. Salem has always kind of leaned on the uh, like the silver and the blue side, whereas Wildwood's always had a little bit of a brown tinge. And it's kind of funny. One year, I think one looks better than the other. When this was made, hands down, no question, <laughs> the Salem looked a lot better. The Wildwood's made during this generation. Everything you see that's like silver, it was like this pale white tan I know that opinions can vary I'll simply say it was not my look I think this looks great what's funny is I think this look was ahead of its time because after this uh, you know every RV brand every year or two they give themselves a new exterior look kind of like how every year that planned inefficiency from the big three motorized uh, you know like you know Ford Chevy Dodge whatever they change little things periodically um, just to always kind of keep you interested. But this is actually what a lot of RVs have started to look like today. Maybe they were just a little too far ahead of their time. I don't know. Simple side mount solar prep plug up front. You saw the, uh, there, it's interesting. There's the bars there for a load leveling anti-sway hitch, but I didn't actually see the hitch anywhere. The RV's way too new for the tires to have aged out. They look fantastic. There's no funny wear or anything like that. Now you'll see on both the front and rear jacks, these just bright yellow banana bars going, look at me. Well, uh, those things right there, a, a little camper like this with front and, uh, and rear corner stabilizer jacks tends to be pretty stable anyway, but those are strong arm jack leg stabilizers and they will absolutely smoke the wiggle jiggle out of this thing uh, like you, you wouldn't believe. Because there's nothing worse than every time you walk around in your camper, you hear like a little cabinet door jiggle banging or something like that from you moving. Now I've got to walk around uh, Mr. Plant here. He's sort of in my way. Thank you, Mr. Plant. Then again, I am actually on the edge of the property and technically walking through the neighbor's grass. So uh, perhaps beggars shouldn't be choosers. <laughs> uh, the roof is walkable. The floor is plywood. It is not ladder capable so keep that in mind and i meant to leave that baggage door open but you know what if that's the biggest mistake i make today not leaving that open overall i'd say we're doing all right i'll give these folks credit though that's the uh, uh rhino flex hose system that is a a much <laughs> much better hose than the basic blue crinkle it and it's gonna break hose that comes uh for, from a lot of dealers on a uh, on a new rv you know I, there, there's nothing remarkable out here. What I mean by that is like it, the camper's beautiful. It's in great shape. It has a lot of great features. There's nothing scary. There's no dings, bangs, blemishes. Look, look at the sticker on the bottom right of the nose, that white uh, sticker. That is the original okay to ship and who inspected it sticker from the factory. <laughs> a lot of times those things get peeled off instantly. I mean, it just, folks bought it and unfortunately never used it. You're going to have a ball with this thing. So thank you very much for tuning in, giving us a chance to meet you. When you're ready, we'd also love the chance to work with you. Whether you need hitching, financing, you got a trade, you want it delivered. We do all that stuff. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and have an A1 day, everyone. <laughs>